Welcome back to Waldorf Salad's walkthrough. <clears throat> you can see I've got a blue boy. He's supposed to be sort of purple, but the game doesn't really want to render purple as well as I'd like. But it's blue, and it will be purple later. So we've got 2,200 souls. First thing we're going to do is have a look at our bonfire now. We have options. We can level up, we can kindle the bonfire, and we can reverse hollowing. So we're going to level up and use up our souls. We're going to dump some points into Vitality to get a bit more health happening. And you can see that we're quite, we're just a little bit short of another level. So we'll come over here and grab the three humanities. <clears throat> Walk up these stairs. Now we, we need only about 50 souls. So what we're going to do is a few suicide runs. The first thing we're going to do is this guy. <sighs> All right, maybe not. Parrying, not my strong suit. There we go. Okay, so you can see we've not, now got enough souls. Go back, back down here. And we're going to pop up another level. And then we're going to do two different suicide runs. Um, you want to make sure you've hung on to those humanities. Because we're going to use one of them later on. <clears throat> so the first suicide run we're going to do down here is to go and get ourselves uh, a special firekeeper soul. It's really easy to get at the start of the game. You will die, but it doesn't matter because you're, you're, you're hollowed anyway. So you walk down here onto the lift, follow the lift down. Now remember we're going to be going for a strength build, but there is also a quick, easy way to pick up a good dex weapon. It's around to the left here. Drop down. There's a soul. And <clears throat> you can see the depths. Over there is all under under liquid, underwater. And lo much later in the game, we'll be going into that part way later. But at the moment, we can actually just speed run in there, grab a really funky item that's helpful, and die. So we're going to do that. So come down here, following the lights. You need to be watching your stamina because you need to be running. You're not going to fight anything. There are ghosts in this area, and the ghosts will kill you super fast. So it's very important that you don't stop for ghosts. You can't fight them. You don't have the right weaponry. Come across here. See, there's one. Yep, they do a lot of damage. Down this alleyway here, we're going for that shiny. In between the ghosts, grab the shiny and just die. Okay, we've grabbed our first shiny, which is a Firekeeper Soul. So you might remember from Dark Souls 3 if you've ever played it, but if you haven't played it before, um, your Estus, that flask that we got from our fabulous friend, <clears throat> upgrades, you can see where it down the bottom says Estus Flask 10. I've got 10 of them and they're ranked zero. Down here on the left, is a firekeeper. Now she is in there, but this one's mute. She can't speak. But she can, however, reinforce your Estus flask if you give her um, a firekeeper soul. And you can see we're up to plus one now, which is great. Okay, <clears throat> the next thing we're going to try and do is go down to the graveyard and kill Pinwheel and get a kindling ember and a whole bunch of souls. But do we need to do that? straight away no we will do that later um, when we need the 15,000 souls to go and buy our weapon but at the moment what we're going to do is go and get a different shield the grass crest shield and I'm wondering if we even need that yeah let's get that so the way f um, bonfires work in this game unfortunately there's no fast travel between bonfires at all uh, not till much later in the game, and you actually have to progress all the way to an Alondo. You have to get a Lord Vessel, you have to give it to a giant eel, and, you know, after you've done all that sort of stuff, then you can fast travel between bonfires, um, which is kind of a dumbass mechanic that they, I think, quite rightly ditched for the second and third games. However, it is here, which means you've got to plan which bonfires you go to and how long you're going to spend at them and why you're there, etc., 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 now, in our case, when we come out here, which we've already been to, remember, that's where we went and got dead before, and actually, if you look straight ahead, 
you'll see uh, our souls are buried, but our souls are in there somewhere. So we're going to come back down here. Instead of turning left, oh, there's our souls over there. We're going to turn right. Avoid. Don't worry about any of these guys. They're not going to aggro and come at you. And because we've got the master key, we can just open up this door. If you don't have the master key, and there's a soul to pick up, it is a royal pain in the bum to come back the other way through Blight Town, which is down that away and ugly and nasty. We're going left. Come around to the left, and you're going to see lots and lots of dragons. It's nice at the start of the game to just clap your eyes on some dragons. Who doesn't love dragons? So there's one. He's a poisony kind of dragon, a nasty poisony kind of dragon. He's also sick um, <clears throat> and asleep. Now, there are lots of good shinies in front of him, and I'll tell you what they are. This first one is a sword, a faith sword, a single, you know, straight sword called Astora's Sword. Um, and that's a soul item and another soul item. We don't want any of them because they wake the dragon up and we're not in any fit state to fight a dragon. What we're doing is rushing down to grab a cool shield. So down here, round to the left, keep going. Oh, they hurt so bad. Ah, oh, and I'm dead. 